Jesus. And Jesus, in the night that he was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it and he had said, they'd had their Passover meal. And in Passover, they, they, they would slaughter a lamb and then they would have bitter spices and some sweet spices to remind them how bitter slavery was and how bitter it was to be tortured and treated bad and how bitter life can be at times, but how rich and sweet our God is. Come and taste and see that our, good, our God is good. And they would eat of the lamb because they had to have a perfect sacrifice. And so they would get a lamb and they would cook that meal and the lamb was representative of the sacrifice. Well, that night they're having the Passover meal and they always have bread and they had three layers of bread and the middle bread was the Messiah bread. It was the bread that was never to be used until the Messiah had finally come. But that night, Jesus got a hold of that bread and he, they're looking at him like, what's he doing? He's got the Messiah bread. And he says, this is my body. This is my body. It represents who I am. Go and shut off the handheld. That's why we're getting that weird feedback. But he says, this is my body, which is broken for you. And he broke the bread. And then he passed it around. And he goes, I want you to understand that every time you eat this, I want you to do it in remembrance of me. Now, they don't have a clue what's going on. They're just looking around going, this is different. We've never done Passover like this before. Because they had had Passover meals together before. So they're kind of going like, what's he talking about? Then he gets the fruit of the vine. He gets the cup of wine. and He says, this is my blood, which is given for you. Again, they didn't understand. And he goes, I'm not going to ever drink of this cup again until I come back. Again, they don't understand. He goes, but I want you to drink this in remembrance of me. And when he gave that to them, they drank and ate and ate and they drank and they, 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 but afterwards they still didn't get it. But just a few hours later, they came to arrest him. And then they beat him and then they crucified him and then he dies and he's put into a grave and they're devastated. They're like, okay, we are so confused. We had the Messiah bread and he said, this is my body. He's a Messiah. What happened? Wait, what happened? What happened? Because they only understood an earthly kingdom. And you and I many times only understand earthly, in other words, what we see and feel. But faith is the things hoped for, the things not yet seen. And so you're believing in something you don't even see, yet you see every day. I see Jesus when I look out here right now. Yet he's not here, but he's very much here. I see Jesus when I see the presenters and I've seen their lives and where they were and what they've gone through in life and the journey that they've gone through and the pain they've gone through and how God restored them. And then to see these graduates, the reason I get emotional is I go, only a God that is living and powerful can transform lives the way he has. So ushers, as we begin to disperse the communion elements, we're gonna give you the bread and the juice. Please don't take it all to you. We all take it together. But I really want you to really hold on to this and I want you to really think of this because <clears throat> afterwards, afterwards, Jesus rose again and they were like, he's alive. He's really alive. And they didn't understand that, yet they saw it. 
And then when he finally did communion again afterwards, they were like, yes, this is your body. Yes, this is your blood. And we need to understand that he gave everything for us, everything. So I want you to understand that and I want you to hold on to that and I want you to receive that and I want you to believe that and I want you to be able to hold on to the bread and start thinking of your sins because God forgives you, thank you. God forgives you. And be thinking of what he has done because he wants to heal you, he wants to provide for you, he wants to take care of you. And he wants to make sure you understand that. And he's saying to us tonight, this is my body. And he's also saying, this is my body. And we're broken. One of the persons up here, you don't even know their journey. You don't know their lives. But one of the persons up here came to our church after their spouse had been murdered. They were battered and just broken and so wounded and hurt and lost, wondering if anything was ever gonna make sense again. And today, thank you, today they're so strong in the Lord and growing in the Lord and helping others to grow in the Lord. And it's only by the power of God's healing power. So let's sing this song and let's sing at least the first stanza as we meditate on the Lord. You know my way. Sing it out and say, at the cross. so much and father nothing can separate us from the love of God not things past not things present not things to come nothing can separate us from the love of God father God not the demons nor the angels nothing can separate us from the love of God father God I pray an overwhelming blessing of your spirit on our life right now in the night he was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. We hold this bread, Father God, and we look at our lives and we know where we have failed. And we say, Father, forgive us of our sins as we take communion. Father, some of us are lacking and I pray you provide. Some of us are sick and we pray healing. Some of us, Father God, are empty and I pray overwhelming filling to overflowing. So Father God, we confess that Lord, you are the bread of life. And we hold this piece of bread representing your body and we say thank you for dying for us on the cross. And Father, we pray these things in the name of Jesus. This is the body of Christ. You made the bread. Likewise, he took the cup. 
gave it to the disciples. And he said, this is my blood, which is given for you. Father, you gave up your blood so that we could have victory. You gave up your blood so that we could be free of sin, but also have the promise of hope that you're going to come to get us and take us home. We hold on with great hope. We hold on with great promise. And we thank you, Lord God, for forgiving our sins and for breaking the yoke of just the curses of life upon us. Thank you for breaking every assignment set against us. We claim the blood of Jesus over our life and over our home and over our children, over the generations before us and the generations behind us. And Lord God, we pray freedom because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. This is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You may drink of the cup. Praise the Lord. Would you stand with us? Would you sing this song again? Give your praise to the Lord. Thank you for the intimate time that we've had with you tonight, Lord. It was just you and me. For every one of us here, it was just us with you and you with us. God, I pray overwhelming hunger and thirst for righteousness. That God, we leave here wanting more and more of the bread of life, more and more of the fruit of the vine, more and more of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And all of God's people said, amen. God bless you, church. I love you. Make sure you look into the men's ministry. God bless you. Go serve the Lord and change Albuquerque.